green shirt. Need a little bling? I'll show you how easy it is. Coming up. Hey, Chanel here bringing you weekly videos to help you get better and better with your fashion sewing and be more creative too. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on a new video. Well, a few years ago, I went to the Sewing Expo in Atlanta, original Sewing Expo, and there were hundreds, well, not hundreds, but maybe a hundred booths. <laughs> Maybe I was at 100, I don't know. Uh, a lot of booths. <laughs> and I, it was my first time ever at a sewing expo and there was quilters and fashion sewing. And they had so many different things that just spurred my creativity. I was like, like stenciling uh, with paint and then chalk stuff to sew. It's like a lot of quilters, fun stuff, which actually you can put into fashion. So it was pretty cool. But I came across this one booth called the Rhinestone Genie. Sounds like the rhinestone cowboy. Who's the rhinestone genie? <laughs> and uh, his name's uh, the owner is named David. Dave David. And um, I actually became an affiliate like a year ago, and I have it on a lot of my YouTube channels here. And he gave me coupons uh, for ten percent off too. But uh, these are this is a system to bling uh, to bling stuff. <laughs> So I'm actually making this little skirt back here. Uh, it's called the Heidi, and I had this fabric. I just made a video on it. And um, I had this fabric that I cut out all these circles, and I thought I'd bling them right here, just some of them to kind of pop, make a few little, you know, rhinestone pops. And then this is actually, I'm going to do all different ones. This is a smiley face one that I just created here. And then you put it on this transfer um, paper and then you iron it down. It's really simple stuff. And then this is actually a cookie sheet that um, when I walked up to the booth, these, all these ladies are there and they're doing this sweeping thing. And they had this little sponge right here and they're like sweeping the rhinestones in there. So it was pretty fun. Um, and then so you, the uh, rhinestones stick up frontwards up into the template so as you're sweeping them along and then you put the tape down it and you pick them up and it becomes real simple and then you just iron these on um, I actually when I first got them I made this skirt and I was putting bling everywhere so I had this one and then it's on here another one I think I just did the one but I had um, these also PJs that I bought about four dresses at Costco and I turned one dress into um, like a dress dress and I put um, this guy on it right here the little uh, cat I think it was on the side and then I had no oh, I had another big cat I haven't seen him around lately I gotta find that one. Oh no that was the paint that was a uh, I painted it and then there um, I do still want to do this one it's an alligator and then this is his tail that you actually put it somewhere else it's like he's is that an alligator yeah and then uh, and then the tail comes out somewhere else so um really fun i also um i made this skirt i have a video on this one and it's my new year's eve skirt and i thought i'll put a little bit of bling on there so i just um just fun to just make up a few of these you can and if especially if you have kids make all these up and then you can put them on their clothes and um, also, also i made all these koozies right here we we're having a little party and i put um the hearts on it and uh, i'm actually going to make a video of this and i'm um, Get you the template for this um, show you how to make them they're they're really fun and bling some stuff out so i think i have i didn't bring everything to show you today but i have, I have a lot of closet closet full of little bling stuff um you can even put them on shoes you know that'd be fun right on the top of your shoes and got feet size 10 there you got more room <laughs> so um now i was just at the expo again in atlanta last month and i'm gonna let you I'm going to let Dave show you how it's done. All right, I'm at my favorite booth, the Rhinestone Genie. I have this kit at the school. And Dave, the owner, inventor of this, is going to make us a paw print to show you how to do it. Oh, you're going to put a name on it, too. Sure. Ah, what's it say? Mo, I guess. Mo. <laughs> No All right, so we're going to make a, a rhinestone transfer that you can iron on to your fabric. Right. So we're just going to line up these, make, 
Oh, uh, magnetic templates. Okay. All right. Once you got the magnetic templates lined up, you're gonna sweep the over the rhinestones. It's best just take a pile and push it back and forth. You kind of want to be a little aggressive with it. The rhinestones are up against each other and knock out the ones upside down out and the shiny side up ones stay in the holes. And you just do that until they're all shiny side up. Yeah. Just like that. that. It's Mo's paw. I have to get a dog named Mo now. There you go. So I'm getting a new dog. And now we, we name take it Mo. <laughs> our hot fix tape. Hot fix tape. Okay. And you peel that and you lay that on top of your design. Right. Here, rub it down, grab a hold of those rhinestones. Okay. And then we're going to peel back. You peel back, roll it back low and slow. And that, you'll see it better if we put it like that. So let me show you something here. We can take... Wow, that's amazing. Well, if I had an iron, I could iron on, but I don't have an iron here. But basically, you could take it like this and make it a little doggy snack bag. Oh, so I'll just iron it on at home, right? Yep, so you can take that home. I'll let you take that one home and you can iron it on. And or if you want, we can change the name on it. <laughs> I'll name my next dog Mo. Oh, there you go. Because actually, I'm really, I'm getting, I want to get a great Dane. So Mo is actually a really cute name. <laughs> so yeah, so basically you just iron it on. After it cools, you peel this off and it looks just like this. It's on there, permanent, washable, dryable. It pretty much lasts forever. Oh, well, thank you, Dave. It. You're welcome. And where can we get this Rhinestone Genie? Uh, RhinestoneGenie.com. Oh, that was simple. Thanks, Dave. Welcome. We'll just put this on so you can take this home with you. I'll give you a little bag, oh, snack you. bag. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. Present. Present. a dog. I know. Well, we are shopping for a dog. Are so you? It's, we're waiting until the dog comes to us. Okay. So we want a Great Dane, but. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but I think we'll settle for a medium sized dog. <laughs> so there you go. Pretty simple. Now, he didn't have an iron there, but. I'm going to show you how to iron it on. I actually have the Mo. I'm not going to iron this one yet because my husband and I still really want to get a Great Dane and we think we're going to call him or her Mo. If it's a girl, still Mo is fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. But <laughs> so I'm not going to iron this on anything yet. I still have that little red bag. And uh, But I want to show you how simple it is to iron these on. All right, to put these on, you just put your... Uh, garment or whatever it is down on the ironing board just take that paper off you stick it where you want it <laughs> and you put a press cloth over it that protects your iron from sticking to that uh, plastic and then you just press right there that's what you're, what's happening here is all these little rhinestones have a glue on the back side so it's like a hot press Make sure they all stay on. It's just like putting on interfacing. And then that off. Press it down. I hope they all stick. If they don't, you just change it. And then you just lift it off. Like that. Ta-da! Every fabric's going to be a little different, but this one sticks really good. So that is that simple. Well, that was simple. So if you need a little bling in your life, get yourself the Rhinestone Genie. Sound like a commercial. <laughs> anyway, um, I have coupons down below. You actually just put um, go to Rhinestone Genie, put cherry in the end. It helps support our school. I don't even know if I make money from that. Um, shows up somewhere. <laughs> and uh, get the kit. Uh, the kit's probably around $30, and it gives you everything you need. You get the, the paper. Um, you just need to get the... Um, Cookie sheets right here at the dollar store, if it's still a dollar. And um, they come with rhinestones, and you don't think there's much, but these last forever. I still have some. So I bought a few other colors. They come with a couple of different colors, too. And then um, keep it a try. And they also have a ton of templates. So I got to do this one next, some, like, wine, uh, wine diva stuff. So anyway, hope you found this video fun. If you learned anything, you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And, uh... Let me know what you've been blinging out. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.